Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. So I wrote an article to go along with this video, just expands on some of the things that are going to be said here, um, and I think you'll enjoy it. And I also want to say, if you are someone who's watching these videos without subscribing, I would prompt you to do so if you find this content to be enjoyable. Um, you know, why not commit? So I'm excited to bring this information forward to you because I know that it has made a big difference for me in the few days that since I've received this information. So I think it'll do the same for you as well. So one of the things we're being asked to do is to sort of pause our reality and just for a moment move backwards through time and study our experience both since we woke up and our unconscious experience before that. Because in that journey, there are, there are a lot of clues and there are three common paths that old souls are taking on their ascension journey. So we are either in the express lane, going from point A to point B as fast as possible, and then we are turning around and supporting everyone else as they um, you know, process what they're meant to do. For those of us who have been on this path for a decade plus, get triggered by those people, because it's like, you know, and I went through all this to learn this stuff. What gives you the right and who are you to already have possessed it at 22? Um, you know, so that's common, but the, the contract those people are experiencing is one where they get out ahead of the curb and then they help everyone else along. So nothing personal, no judgment. They aren't above you. There's no hierarchy. That's just the, the story that's being told from their perspective. The, the second route that old souls are taking is they're spending a lot of time on the highway. They're even getting into the express lane here and there, but they are often taking pit stops and detours on the way. So they may find themselves enticed back into the illusion and they you know get caught up in traffic or they hit unexpected road damage and they end up in a dead end or they end up stuck in a bad part of town that they didn't want to be in and then they look at their experience and say how did i end up here um where did i go wrong the third path that old souls are taking is the total detour rate or route should i say in complete bypass of the the fast track or the freeway system and here's the here's the truth about the last two routes so that they can be scenic and they can be beautiful and they can absolutely be breathtaking. But with every positive they have, um, there comes a lot of negative, there comes a lot of baggage, there comes a lot of hard lessons learned. If you choose to take the path where you're having a lot of lessons learned and you're taking your time, that's fine, but you have to understand who you are. You're an old soul who has already learned these lessons in lifetimes before. So why are we repeating history? Why are we engaging in cycles and participating in that when it's not necessary to our experience? So what we're being asked to do is drop that illusion and drop that process and reclaim experience from where we've been before that are gonna act as a navigation device in getting us to where we wanna go. So what you're being asked to do is to identify what path you took and see what you can do to tailor your experience with the knowledge that you've accumulated during that period. Do you wanna stay taking detours? Do you wanna stay um, caught up in a job or a, a relationship that is causing you delays or do you want to get back on the freeway and fast track this thing? Um, it all comes down to choice. It all comes down to the free will to choose your experience. But I wanted to ask or rather I wanted to know what was the difference between the people who are fast tracked, the people who are in the express lane from one end to the other versus the people that are taking detours and you know, having issues and, you know, like we said, having a lot of harsh lessons learned. Well, basically, here's what was made known to me. The people who are in the express lane and stay there are the people who are consciously navigating their reality from the moment that their feet hit the floor in the morning. So what does that mean? 
Everything they consume is conscious. Everything they eat, everything they absorb is conscious. Everything they produce energetically and everything they project vibrationally is on purpose with a specific intention attached to it. So these people acknowledge that there exists an infinite amount of potential within every now moment and they have the power to influence that potential. So what they are doing is drawing their potential near and they are directly moving through it and acquiring it with little resistance, with no roadblocks, no detours. The ones that are taking the detours are learning a lot of lessons. They're learning what not to do and what they can do. They're learning where to go and where not to go. And that's a beautiful path to be honored in its own right. But it's likely that those people are reacting to their reality rather than creating it. So, for example, <clears throat> I, I think this is a pretty common dream to have and it's one that I have all the time. But I'll have dreams where I'm on the expressway. I'm not really aware of where exactly I am. But during the dream, I will get easily distracted and I will find myself down a side road or a back way that's, you know, nowhere near where I'm trying to go. So basically, I will be unconsciously pulled away from the express lane because something unrelated to my path enticed me to do so. And then in the dream, you'll suddenly have, you'll come into awareness and you'll be like, oh man, I gotta get back on the freeway. What am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta get back here. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Um, I've got to find someone to guide me back. Um, you know, and that's all part of this experience. If I can make a parable to something that I learned growing up in church, that there is a story of people being led to the promised land by holding on to an iron rod. And this rod is a direct path through a fog from start to finish. Basically what they can see through the fog is parties going on. Um, and it looks really interesting and some will let go and never come back and some will let go and come back. But obviously their time on that journey has been extended because they, they allowed themselves to get pulled back in. So basically that is the, the idea that we're bringing to the table here. So what you're being asked to do is take a look back at your path, review the circumstances that created the experience you're going through now and say, Oh, I took a two year pit stop because I got into a relationship that didn't honor who I really was or, Oh, I took a job that paid me a lot less than I deserved because I had to as a means to survive. Or I stayed in a living situation when I should have moved and I was being prompted to move and now I have moved and you know, it was what it was supposed to be. Take a look back at your experience, acknowledge the lessons learned and put them in the rear view mirror where they belong get back on the expressway and let's get this thing wrapped up thank you very much my family and um yeah i will see you in the future